Welcome to our video demonstration of Quick Surface. We want to show what we did in the last month, and now we'll start with uh, how we process a big mesh. In this case, uh, we added some useful tool to isolate an area and come back and focus on it later. So I will just use my selection tool and I will select my front area and I will right click and isolate which means that it only this will remain on the screen now we have what is called selection status and you can just use this and give it a name like a front and I press OK this appears under my reference mesh and I will just show the rest and with my tools I can just select this area for example and I will isolate again maybe i will just uh, remove some of the areas here and we'll hide this and i can save this under different name handle and press ok then i can probably show everything and i can also save this as a another status whole object and press ok so now what is good about this you just if you want to go back and focus on this area you just double click on front and this uh, selection is applied and you can come and focus and work if I double click on the handle I just get only this part or if I double click on the whole part it just appears on the screen this is quite useful in this version we paid um, big attention on our uh, sketching capabilities I'll just load the part a small mechanical part will uh, delete everything which has been done here and we'll start from scratch this is um, an example of a typical scan part with a lot of noise with some missing areas and I will just go and create a sketch here take this profile and press create so now what we added in our latest version is that uh, we can select more points before we actually fit the primitives for example in this case i want to get the points to fit a circle here and to, in order to do this it's good to use this mode which is called fit primitives and then you can just mark your points nothing happens at the moment it, it doesn't fit them automatically just uh, keeps them as selected and when you're happy with your selection then you can choose if you want to fit a circle, or fit arc or fit a line. For example, here I can just uh, select this area. If I select it more, I can just use Alt key to improve my selection. When I'm happy, I just press fit line and it will be extracted. Also, what we added in our uh, new version is uh, another way to create a circle is just by using the center and the radius. You can just click and define your circle and you can define circles in this way um, we have also added um, explicit uh, function here which is called corner trim you can just paint and it is uh, selected and also um, another option which uh, i'll show you in a minute is uh, that uh, if we want if we have something connected we introduce our trimming tool let's see this example i can just use the trimming tool which is called power trim in other software and you just uh, drag your mouse and it will remove and you create your profile here what uh, we also added here is that when you create um, extruded surfaces it automatically creates them as a solid which gives you another huge advantage let's get back now to do some more modeling we also added a triangle a rectangle option where the user can just draw for um, lines and it will create uh, all the constraints automatically and this is also something that is quite useful another um, feature that we added is that and currently if we just add a, a freeform curve you can just create your reference points 
and then you can manipulate with them with the handles at the end which gives you uh, quite a good uh, flexibility to create a tangency and you can play with your um, shape in a better way also what we added here in the our new version is that the tangent arc now is not limited only to plane uh, to lines it also works on, on the other primitives you just pick the two and you can manipulate we have also improved the way we manipulate the, the sketch in, in a better way so if you just uh, move this arc for example which is tangent it, it moves uh, on the screen but if you take the handle in the middle it actually plays with your tangency another option which we added in in our software is called um, auto sketcher i just load a bit more complex um, profile here so you can see the power it is in this version it only works in the single profile so if you have a multiple sections put in um, the same sketch uh, plane it won't work really well but let's take an example here uh, this is our extracted single section and we have something which is called auto sketch you come in this mode and uh, it, the software offers you two ways to approximate um, your shape one is the the spline way you can control with the tolerance approach or you can build with a different number of um, points where you can control this but also with the line and arcs uh, the software uses the segmentation so you can see the red areas is something that will be fit with line and the, the other is with arcs and then you can just press preview it just uh, the software does the software uh, the job for you and as you can see it approximates here but what we added here is that we can help the software by painting we define that these are my lines here for example they will be fit and when i press preview the software automatically fits them in the best way if i do this and press preview i can just do this uh, 80 percent of my work in in the auto sketch mode and then I can accept this and I can improve and connect this in a different way. For example, I can create a line here and I can just intersect or I can add another tangent arc here if it's needed to get my best results. So this is what we call the auto sketch mode. Saves a lot of time to generate your sketches. We also spent some time on improving our freeform surfaces. At the moment, if, you, if we generate an object with a quad surface, regardless if it's a new freeform or with an auto surface, and when we get the shape, when we export the model, the previous version generates much larger step files, 18 megabytes in this case. And in our case, I'll just override this one and it generates 11 megabytes, which is significantly reducing of the size. Well, in the same time, it, uh, the quality is uh, preserved. Now I would say it's even better. So I just loaded these two files into um, SOLIDWORKS so you can take a look. This is the, our original version. This is the curvature display of our file previously exported. And, and this is our new export if i turn the, um, the curvature off you can see that there is no no difference at all of the um, of our export i hope you like all these new features and will if you are existing customer download and upgrade your version if you are not yet our customer take a look at the trial and if you like it you can contact us for more details. Thank you for watching.